Welcome to the Demalat Cookery channel. So today I want to show you how to make an absolutely delicious vanilla ice cream. So there's a little bit of a twist to this particular recipe. I don't actually own an ice cream maker. The uh, top of the range ones are quite expensive and I wouldn't get that much use out of it, to tell you the truth. So I make this classic vanilla ice cream using our condenser dryer in the laundry room. Sounds a bit weird, but trust me, it makes perfect ice cream. So as usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video. So let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So the ingredients we're going to need for our delicious vanilla ice cream, I've got 300 millilitres of double cream, 120 grams of caster sugar, 300 millilitres of whole milk or full fat milk, four medium sized egg yolks, and I'm also going to use some vanilla extract, or in this case, some vanilla uh, bean paste. We're also going to need some ice, some Ziploc bags, salt, a hand towel, some packing tape, and of course, a tumble dryer. So the first thing we need to do is I've got a saucepan with our milk and cream in the saucepan. Make sure that that milk and cream is mixed in really well together. Now that will stop the milk from burning on the bottom of the saucepan. So this saucepan's on quite a low heat and I just want to bring this up to a really gentle simmer. So once we get the cream and milk mixture to this stage where it's just starting to bubble up, I'm going to turn the gas off. So I've taken it off the heat. I'm going to leave this to stand for five minutes and then we're going to add in our vanilla extract or in my, in my case vanilla bean paste. So I'm actually going to add in a teaspoon of this vanilla bean paste. And again, just make sure that's stirred in quite well. Right, I'm just going to leave this to stand again for about another five minutes just to cool down a bit further and then I'll show you the next step. So once our milk and cream mixture has cooled down for another five minutes, we now want to prepare the eggs and sugar. So you can either use a blender, which is what I'm using, or you could use um, a handheld electric whisk. All we want to do is add the sugar and eggs into the blender. And I'm just going to mix this now until the um, eggs start to turn pale in color. Right, so that's just taken literally 30 seconds to do. So the next step is our hot cream and milk mixture. I want to add about two ladlefuls of hot cream and milk mixture into our egg and sugar mix, not the other way around. If we add the eggs into the milk now, what will happen is the eggs will probably scramble so this way we can actually, what's called slacken off the, um, the egg mixture and again prevent that scrambling. Okay, just give that a quick whiz. And then just one more. So we're starting to bring that egg mixture up to the temperature of the milk and the cream. OK, 
Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to place the saucepan back onto the heat, bring this up to a very gentle simmer, and then add the egg mixture into the saucepan. Okay, so then goes our egg mixture. Turn that heat right down. So I'm just going to bring this up to a very, very gentle simmer. And we're going to be cooking this for about five minutes. And what we want to see is we just want to see this custard thicken so that if we place a spoon into the custard, the back of the spoon will get coated in that custard mixture. Okay, so once our custard mixture is thickened, again after about five minutes, next thing to do, I've got a tray or a dish with some cold water in there. You could use an ice bath, so we could put some ice in there if you wanted to, but this is just cold water. We set a large bowl in the center and just pour in our custard mixture. Okay, and all we want to do now is just to cool this custard down. So every couple of minutes, I'll come back to this, just give it a stir, just to make sure that a skin doesn't start forming on the top. And we just want to reduce this down until it's just a, really just a warm mixture and then I'll show you the next step. But that should take about 20 minutes. So this custard has now cooled right down. So you really don't need an ice bath under something like this, as long as you've got uh, enough body of water, cold water under there, that the heat will dissipate. That's taken about 10 minutes, that's all. And again, as I said before, I've just been stirring it constantly just to make sure that the skin doesn't form. The next thing to do is we need to chill this now in the fridge for at least a couple of hours. But this kind of recipe is, is a lot better if you do it the night before. So if this was something I was preparing the night before, it would have all night to chill in the fridge. So to chill it in the fridge, take some cling film or food wrap. And we want to make sure that the food wrap actually touches the surface of the custard. And the reason for that is if we have any air space at all between the custard and the food wrap or the cling film, then what will happen is a skin will form on top and that won't be very nice for the end product. Okay, so there you go, as I said, into the fridge now to chill for two hours. So we've now got our fully chilled custard. I'm going to transfer this custard now into one of these Ziploc bags. So I've emptied our chilled custard into the Ziploc bag. I've then got as much air out as I possibly can, twisted sealed it obviously, zipped it across to seal it and then twisted the ends down and covered it with packing tape just to ensure that we don't get any leakage whatsoever. Next thing to do is I take a, another Ziploc bag and I've placed some ice cubes in the bottom of the bag. We then want to empty in a generous amount of salt. So I'm going to be using about half a cup of salt altogether. And the salt mixed with the ice will actually reduce the temperature down to below zero degrees at centigrade. That will just make it a more efficient system for getting our um, ice cream. So place our bag on top. We then want to add more 
ice on the top of that. And just keep doing this until our bag of chilled custard is completely covered with ice. Okay, make sure you push the ice down the sides as well. Another generous amount of our salt. Seal that up. And again, I'm going to tape this down again with our packing tape. Okay, so this whole package now goes into our hand towel and this will protect the bags while they're in the um, dryer. And again, just cover it in packing tape. So with regard to the uh, dryer, I've set the position to airing, which is basically just cold air passing over the laundry just to freshen it up. So obviously we don't want it, we don't want any heat in the um, in the dryer itself. So if you've got that setting, it says airing or, or something similar, set it to that. Put our package obviously in to dry it. And then start it. And you want this going for about eight minutes. And the reason for the dryer is we need the um, custard to be turning all the time so it doesn't form uh, ice crystals while it's cooling down and that's basically what a um, ice cream maker does anyway okay so let's see what we've got so it actually took a lot longer than I thought and that's because I don't think I've got enough ice so I thought it'd be about eight to ten minutes it's actually taken 25 minutes to get to this stage and it's although it's firmed up quite a lot our ice cream is still not perfect so it's a good lesson in make sure you've got plenty of ice surrounding the um, the custard before it goes into the tumble dryer okay so this is our ice cream as it is now so don't have to call it custard anymore. Show you what the consistency is. So it's it's probably the same as soft scoop ice cream. If we place this into the freezer now, it'll obviously uh, firm up a lot more than that. But um, the best bit is the taste. Oh, wow, that is absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do next is I've got an old ice cream tub, which I've obviously washed out. So I'm going to transfer this ice cream now into the tub and place it into the uh, freezer overnight. And then we'll have this tomorrow. So there you go, delicious vanilla ice cream made with a condenser dryer which you'd normally be drying clothes with. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.